Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, we're talking about some major changes that were made to the AZ-204 Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure exam. Now, Microsoft just announced uh, yesterday some changes to the AZ-204 exam that go into effect as of April 18th, 2023. As we've seen in the past, Microsoft does give one month notice for any of these changes. And so this makes sense when it comes to them notifying us that these changes are coming. Uh, the changes for the exam are going to be listed in this AZ-204 study guide. Now there is a change log section of the study guide and it lists which section had any change or no change or major changes or minor changes. So let's review the, the study guide side by side and we can see the, the current version of the exam and the prior and the new version of the exam. Now the good news is that the percentage breakdowns have not changed between exams. We have the same sections, the same section names and the same percentage breakdowns. So we're not talking about that level of change. The biggest change for me is the complete removal of the concept of a virtual machine and ARM templates from the exam. So this IAAS section is now just called containerized solutions. Now there were a couple of container topics on the existing exam, but obviously they've been expanded. So in terms of um, creating solutions using Azure container apps being a brand new topic. So the removal of virtual machines and let's say the expansion of container apps. Pretty much no change to, to the concept of web apps um, we're looking at the concept of functions. They are, again, they keep adding and removing it. They are removing the concept of durable functions once again. So this, in my recollection, has been added and removed from the exam a couple of times over the years, and now it's been removed again. We go on to the storage section. Uh, the big two changes are in Cosmos DB and Blob storage sections. So on Cosmos DB, you can see that it's talking about uh, partitioning. Uh, it's talking about uh, selecting the appropriate API. So which of the database types is good for your data and partitioning. Well, that's been removed from this new version. So it does still talk about operations on containers and items, or shall we say data before, but the other two sections have been completely removed. When it comes to blob storage, um, we are removing the moving items between storage accounts or containers. And it looks like we are adding concept of static sites. So those are the changes uh, in that. So those are the three big changes, the containers, uh, removing some stuff in Cosmos DB and blob storage. Now there are some minor changes to other elements of the exam. So we can see here that um, the uh, web apps does say talk about m minor changes. Let's see, functions talks about major changes too. Let's go back up to functions here. Oh yeah, the durable functions are being removed. So there are a couple of sections that say minor, um, implement secure cloud solutions. Let's see that one. So implement secure cloud solutions. Uh, honestly, the wording looks to be the same. So uh, not sure why it says minor when the before and after wording is uh, quite identical. I guess this is called Azure solutions as opposed to cloud solutions. And maybe that's the, the minor element of it. So um, oh, we can see that uh, CDN, so the CDN has gone to go some major changes in Azure and is now part of the front door service. And so uh, CDN has now uh, been added to the exam that wasn't there before. Well, so those are the, those are the changes. Um, luckily they are removing stuff. Sometimes they just add stuff uh, endlessly. They are removing stuff, but it does mean that they are then getting to focus more on the other stuff. So whereas they remove VMs, you should expect more questions 
talking about containers. And if they remove durable functions, then you'll be more questions talking about other uh, issues when it comes to functions. So this has been Scott Duffy. These are the changes that are coming to the AZ-204 exam. Once again, if you are planning to take the exam before April 18th, just go ahead and take it. I would not put off your, your taking the exam if you were planning to because of these changes. Even though they are removing some topics, uh, it, it just seems to be a trade-off for me. So that would be my advice. If you are planning to take it after April 18th, then you have to take some new topics into account. It might make it a little bit easier to study uh, but again, those questions will come back in a little bit more detail on the topics that are remaining. So good luck. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I appreciate your thumbs up, your likes, and your subscriptions to this channel. Thanks again. This has been Scott from GetCloudSkills.com.